I love automatic watches and that's what my channel is all about. But I have also owned all of the smartwatches going all the way back to the very first LG Google Watch. So when a brand called Sequent released a campaign a few years ago for what they called the very first mechanical non-charged smartwatch, I certainly took notice. Unfortunately, it was yet another campaign that suffered long delays and there were plenty of people in the comments section that went to town on the Sequent team. I feel this is always going to happen with such new technology, but they did deliver in the end and you can now go and purchase a variety of colors and straps on their rather lovely website. One of my most popular videos on my channel is my Within ScanWatch Horizon. And this proves to me that there are other people out there that are interested in smartwatch features without a screen and importantly, daily charging. I had forgotten all about Sequent until recently. Since it's now released, I asked Sequent if I could review one of their supercharged HR watches and I'm pretty happy to bring this to my channel today. So is it any good? Well, let's find out. If you like what you see here and you're a fan of watches, please consider a like and subscribe. It means a lot to my small channel and I think you'll like the content that I release. So what we're looking at here is the Sequent Electron HR 2.2. It's a deep black model and I'll be able to show you both the black and blue hashtag tide strap and the rubber strap. It comes with a five year warranty and will set you back about 620 US dollars. I think the reason you're watching this, which was my main interest as well, is what Sequent calls their self-charging mechanism. Us watch fans are of course old hands at automatic movements with rotors generating energy, but this is a bit different. The SC2.2 movement contains only eight parts with no gears or screws and will not require any mechanical maintenance at all. Normally, we'd be talking power reserves of 40 to 60 hours for your standard mechanical movement. This one has a standby time of more than one year. You will definitely feel this thing moving on your wrist, but you do get used to it and objectively here, it looks really cool, like a power plant on your wrist. So let's be upfront about the fact that there is still a battery within the watch. It's just charged by your movements alone. It's so efficient that in addition to telling you the time with a precision of plus or minus 0.3 seconds per day, it can also drive a heart rate monitor and step counter, not to mention Bluetooth to connect to your phone and view your health stats on a nice and clean app. I will come back to this a bit later. First, let's check out the rest of the case. It's a big puck of a thing that's very well made. It feels much better put together than any Withings watches that I've owned. The case of the Electron 2.2 is made from grade 2 titanium and protecting the dial is sapphire glass. It feels and looks large, but the dimensions are not that different to a standard watch. We've got a diameter of 42.1 millimeters, height of 14.2 millimeters, and a lug to lug of 45.5 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters and it's waterproof to 50 meters. So it's actually not terribly large, but it's not designed to blend into your wrists like most automatic watches, which I suspect is due to the sizable movement in the back. It therefore wears larger than the specs alone suggest. The crown is really only used to sync or initiate tracked exercises such as running. You can't wind it manually and turning the crown does nothing. What surprised me is that you do get a charging cradle with the watch, but it turns out this would only need to be used if the watch is completely flat. So probably only when you first receive it or if you left it in the drawer for over a year. Moving on to the dial, one difference between the Electron 2.2 HR and their other model, the Supercharger 2.2, is that this electron gets loomed indexes. The other difference, by the way, is that this is titanium rather than steel on the supercharger. So I'll come back to the loom shortly. The large arrow defaults to step counting, but you can also double click the crown to see the remaining power reserve using this large hand. 
In my opinion, this large hand does compete visually with the hour and minute hands, and there are times of the day when it can look a little messy in there. I'm not sure why these hands are so slender, and I think they could fatten up a bit for future models, especially since I suspect there's little to no anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal here, which doesn't help in direct sunlight. I like the markers for the hours, they are clean and legible. There are also models with blue markers, see-through dials, and even a NASA limited version. But again, what they all seem to have in common is very skinny minute and hour hands. So anyway, on to the fitness functions. The watch will track your heart rate and during workouts, your duration, average speed, and calories. You can also sleep with it if you want to track that, but I doubt that that would be a particularly comfortable experience. To start a workout, you hold the crown in for two seconds and then click it twice, at which point you get a confirmation blink. To stop, click it again three times. What is interesting is that the app will sync all data to Apple Health, which will make it genuinely useful if you're an iPhone user. The app is nice and clean with rudimentary data, which I will assume will be expanded upon over time. But even if it's not, it has enough in there to be good enough. The fitness tracking is something that only you can answer if it's relevant to you, so I'll only cover two more things and refer you to the website for the rest. One, the heart rate can measure your heart rate every 5, 30 or 120 minutes. The more often you do it, the less your standby rate would be. If you set it to every 5 minutes, it will last for about 30 days without you wearing it. Two, in my few weeks of wearing the watch, I found the accuracy to be okay but not amazing. But it's had two updates in that short time, so the team is clearly working on regular improvements. What this watch will not do at all is any form of notifications. To be honest, if you want that, you absolutely should buy an Apple or Samsung watch or look at Garmin or Suntu for their extreme fitness models that by the way also have pretty decent battery life. But that said, I'm a person that don't want the buzzing and beeping notifications, particularly on my weekends. So I actually think this is a pro and not a con. And I don't think I'm alone. I also hate charging stuff all the time, and you never need to do that again with this one. I would much prefer though if the watch and app was a bit smarter with recognizing workouts without me having to click the crown to stop or start. This is one thing I really like about my Aura Ring, It'll ask me at the end of the day if an activity was what it thought it was, and it's usually right. So let's check out the loom before I wrap up with my final thoughts. It's far more evenly applied than my old Withing scan watch, and I do get all of the Tron feels. What we have here is a fairly basic but good enough fitness tracker and heart rate monitor with a very unique movement. It'll continue to run as long as you use it, it will never need to be serviced and it's probably a good conversation piece forever. Is it as good as the Withings watches? No, I don't think so. But that's mainly down to the excellent Withings app and that company's sizable advantage of having years to develop and improve the hardware and software. Ultimately though, Sequent's biggest competition might be from within since they just launched another Kickstarter campaign for a much slimmer and more normal watch light design that's powered by the largest solar cell that's ever been fitted to a hybrid watch. That's cool and all, but for me, this model with its awesome tungsten rotor and mini power plant on my wrist will always be far more special. Should you buy one? I will stick to my Ura Ring and my straight up mechanical watches, but if you like what you see here, I can't see why you shouldn't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.